These old Magic the Gathering cards don't belong to me. They belong to my friend Shobi, who has, like, a lot of magic cards. And as I was looking through them last summer, he dropped something big on my lap. Hey Prof, I got these magic cards just sitting around, not doing a lot of good collecting dust on my shelf, so I think I should sell them and give the money away? Uh, excuse me? Actually, I think you should sell them and give the money away. Sell? I, whoa, is that a Black Lotus? Yeah, that's a complete near mint set of beta. Sell it! Wait, then what's in this folder? Is this a complete set of Arabian Nights? Yeah, three complete sets of them. Sell them. Uh, and th that's a complete set of legends and a complete set of antiquities. Yeah, it's three sets. It's three sets of legends, three sets of antiquities. Sell them. Sell them all. And give the money to who? How about charities that empower the black community? You sell the cards, then pick a couple charities. Okay, how about I sell the cards, but since you want to give to charities that work to empower the black community, let's ask a few black content creators to decide where that money goes. Deal. Can we do anything with these? Sure, I can give those away to my viewers to help encourage donations and continue to grow awareness for these charities. Can you give these away too? Sure, I'll just give those away to viewers too. We'll give it all away, the money, the cards. Can I hold the Black Lotus? With your eyes you can, sure. Wow, this has been a project in the works for months upon months now, and I'm so glad to be able to finally share it with all of you. We were able to turn those old magic cards just sitting on my friend's shelf into donations for two very worthy causes. How did we go about doing that? Well, the very first thing we needed to do was find a high-end buyer. Actually, the very first thing we needed to do was to get all of those cards appraised, but we didn't know that at the time. So we went out there and we found a high-end buyer. And they said to us, hey, you got to get those cards appraised first. So we did that. Special thanks to Jeremy from Missouri MTG, who helped not only put us in touch with the high-end buyer, but introduced us to the card appraisers. Jim and Dale of Graded Power, who were extremely professional and ensured a very smooth process. We got our letter of appraisal from them, showed it to the buyer, went through a lot of negotiations, and in the end, we settled on an amount of $140,000 to be divided between two charities. So yeah, we raised $140,000 for charity, and we haven't even gotten started yet because this video is us getting started because we are going to do even more. Oh yes, we are continuing to raise funds for both charities and we'll be sending as a thank you gift to one donor from each charity all 10 Expedition fetch lands from Battle for Zendikar block or all five Kaladesh Masterpiece swords. There are links in this video's description for you to donate and support either cause. And if you do, maybe a thank you gift will get sent to you. Well, let's begin with friends of the channel, Sed and Ken of the One More Mana YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed to their channel, check it out. They make amazing content. They've been on our channel several times now, and we are so thrilled to be able to ask them, where would you like $70,000 of charity to go? And they determined the Saving Our Sons and Sisters International Fund. What exactly is this organization and what do they do? We'll let Seth and Ken tell you in their own words. Hello out there to the magic world. We'd like to take a pause for the cause and, you know, give a shout out to one of our local charities, you know, that we support. And the name of the charity is Saving Our Sons and Sister International. Or Saucy for short, S-O-S-S-I. So the reason that we're supporting Saucy through this charity is because they are an organization that has been in the Atlanta community for years, and they have been doing phenomenal work with the youth all the way up to the elderly. That's right. They What they do is that they engage the community by finding out what organizations require so they're able to fill those demands. So if there's an after-school program that requires tutors, they will go throughout the state to local universities and recruit people to go down to help tutor the kids in whatever subject matter they require. If there are materials that organizations need, whether it be books, pens, uh, laptops, computers, you know, editing software, they make, they make it their mission to go out there to secure the funds to make sure that everyone gets what they require. They've been a phenomenal organization that said himself has worked with in the past. That's right. Uh, going back as early as 2012, I was working with the after school program. Uh, Saucy was there from the ground up to really help us build up and help that program flourish. They not only supplied uh, a lot of supplies that we were needing for that program, but they were also there to, to provide 
some of the material and also proctor a lot of the lessons and teach uh, the, the the youth that we were mentoring. And so they've been a phenomenal, like we said, a phenomenal partner ever since, uh, like I said, as early as 2012. And they don't just work with youth. We also, we, saw, we also said all the way up to the elderly. So a lot of people in the Atlanta community who are looking for work or looking for job skills, whether they are teenagers or young adults or any adulthood, they're, they're out there to help make it their mission to give them those, those job training skills as well. They are the boots on the ground in the community and they are the ones who are out there putting their money where their mouth is. So we'd like to give them a salute for all the actions that they've done in the community and thank the organizers and other people out there who've been supporting them. That's right. So again, thank you, Saucy. Thank you, Professor. And thank you to Wizards Community. So my question to you is this. Would you buy one regular booster pack for that organization if it meant it would help keep them doing what they do in their community? Well, if so, in that pack, you might crack all five masterpiece swords from Kaladesh because as a thank you gift to a donor of $4 or more, I'll be sending out all five of these as my way of saying, hey, thank you for supporting this great cause. And if you donate in more than $4 in $4 integers, well, then that's just going to be more and more packs that might have these swords in them for you. And as you crack through them, as it were, you'll be helping out that fantastic organization. And what about that second charity and those 10 expedition fetch lands? I asked Princess of the Melina Pendulum YouTube channel. You've probably seen her making the rounds all over MTG YouTube lately. She's certainly been on this channel a few times, but if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, I absolutely encourage you to do so. She determined that the other $70,000 that we raised through selling those old magic cards should go to the Trans Women of Color Collective, which she's going to tell you about now. I just wanted to say that I picked the Trans Women of Color Collective as the institution I wanted to donate to because I think that in this trying times, this climate that it is so important that we take care of those who are at the most vulnerable in this time with the lack of health care, housing, and with trans people automatically being uh, a group that's vulnerable in these times, and especially women of color. I think it's just so important that we remember to take care of our own, to take care of those communities, because that is such a vibrant community of people. They give so much to us culturally, so much to us in terms of strength and support. As a member of the black community, as a black woman, as a black queer woman, I know that whenever I go to a Black Lives event, I see black trans women fighting for me every single day. I know that black trans women are at the forefront of trying to ensure that I have the rights that I have in this country. So it is the very least I can do is to be an ally and support my communities of color and my trans kin because they're my family. And just as Malcolm X said, the most disrespected woman in America is the black woman and that goes for the trans black woman. So anything I can do to help, I try and thank you to to Larry Community College for just giving me the opportunity to have an opinion in this. Um, I really appreciate that. And I'm so glad that this amazing charity will be getting this money and I hope that it will go, and, and I know that it will go towards people who need it, deserve it. And again, I'm just grateful to help. So yeah, let's raise further funds for the Trans Women of Color Collective right now. There is a link in this video's description, and if you donate $4 or more, think of it as just buying a booster pack for such a worthy cause, but think of all those booster packs you've opened where there's a 30 cent rare, a dollar rare if you're lucky in it. What about a booster pack with all 10 fetch lands in their foil expedition battle for Zendikar form. I think it's the best form. They might be inside that booster pack that you get for the Trans Women of Color Collective. You get these as a thank you gift. I'm gonna select one person who donates $4 or more to that link in this video's description. And if you donate more than $4 to either charity for every $4 that you donate, it's another booster pack that you are essentially getting them and another chance that you might crack 
these amazing expeditions or those sword masterpieces. This fundraiser is going to run until 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday the 13th at which point I'm going to look at all the $4 donations. And again, if you donate $12, that's like three $4 donations, because that is three $4 donations. And we're going to grab one person at random out of all those $4 integers from each charity to send off to one person as a thank you gift all 10 foil fetch lands in expedition form or all five foil swords in masterpiece form. So thank you to everybody involved in this, to Shobi, who got the whole thing started with his generosity and desire to at least try and make some form of a positive dent in this universe, to our anonymous buyer who was able to contribute the funds to Jim and Dale at Graded Power, Missouri MTG, for the Connect, for everybody from Sed and Ken and Princess to the Trans Women of Color Collective and all the great work that they do, and of course the Saving Our Sons and Sisters International, everybody and each and every one of you, even Wizards of the Coast, who has no involvement in this whatsoever, but creates this game that at times is infuriating, but at other times brings us all together to do something like this. Here is to the next year being, if only a little bit brighter than the last.